Good morning, community. It is 49 degrees with a north wind here in Texas. So it's a mite chilly. So yesterday it was cloudy uh, all day till about three when my plant sale ended. <laughs> I really needed the sun yesterday, guys. But it looks like we're gonna have plenty of it today. So anyway, um, coming out, just checking on what I've got planted in the ground to see what's going on and to see how things are going. And so far, so good. So this is my green bed. This has uh, my kale and it has some chard and it has some mustard greens in here. And we have some cabbage and some more mustard greens and some lettuces and some cilantro. Our cilantro is doing really, really well since it's cooled down. And guys, for the next seven to 10 days, it looks like we're gonna be pretty cool. Um, our highs are only gonna be in the upper 60s and um, our lows are gonna be in the 50s, maybe a couple of nights in the 40s. So we are starting off um, our, our spring very mild. So it's a little warmer here in my high tunnel, my little high tunnel. I have to come in here and check on my herbs and let me show you what I did last weekend. We've got dill planted. We've got holy basil, more holy basil, Thai basil, more holy basil, Oh my goodness. So you can see most of my tubs in the little high tunnel are planted, but there's still room for more. So I'll be doing more of that today. I started some patty pan squash yesterday. And yes, that's diatomaceous earth because guess what I saw when I was digging around? Those dead gum roly poly peel bugs. Um, and there were quite a few of them in there. So I've got uh, Sluggo Plus coming. And guys, we had really good luck with that last year. So we're gonna use it again. My tomatoes in this little high tunnel are just really taking off and they look really, really beautiful. So I've got a wide variety in here. Um, I've got some black creme, the pineapple. I got a couple of cherry, uh, maybe a blueberry cherry and maybe a, uh, a lemon, uh, lemon pear or a yellow pear. So I'm excited that I'm getting a, a good kickoff on my tomato plants. And then we have some more herbs over there and a couple of pepper plants. I got some jalapenos and I've got some bells. Something's munching on my green beans, my bush beans. I'm not sure what it is yet. Greg suspects it might be pill bugs as well, but I don't think it is pill bugs because when the pill bugs were attacking our stuff last year, they were attacking it um, at, the, um, at the base and uh, eating the stem, but maybe it is. Y'all let me know what you think it is. So the big high tunnel's looking quite warm. You can see there's a little bit of a misty fog in here because of the temperature difference. <sighs> These are some of our plants that we are selling. And uh, Greg's tomatoes in here are looking really good. So we got our tomatoes in early. We really feel like it's necessary to do so. Because if we wait here in Texas, we're normally getting pretty hot by June and um, our plants start to not produce anymore. And so we want to get um, tomatoes as quickly as we can. So it looks like we're going to have a sunny day today, but it's going to be in the low 60s, a little chilly, um, which again, we'll take. Um, this, these chilly temps will help our plants get established, especially our cool weather plants like our cilantro and our greens, our mustard greens and our cabbages. So hopefully guys, we're going to have a good year this year. These are some of our plant starts that we have for sale. You can see they have done quite well in this high tunnel and they are looking beautiful and it smells so good in here. Um, we've got basils and dill and medicinal herbs and peppers. And you can see we've got it lined up over there as well. So we have tons, tons of plants, guys, um, that if you're local, you might wanna come out and see us today. Oh my goodness, we have been really, really blessed, guys. I just wanna tell you, we have been really, really blessed. I can't wait for that sun to come up behind me because this high tunnel gets quite warm and uh, we can get in here and get to work. Um, and hopefully we'll get some good customers today. And we have just been uh, really, really busy on the weekends and our uh, work is busy. But uh, overall in all, I'm so thankful to the Lord for everything he's given us and everything he's done for us. Look at that beautiful sunrise and you can see how green everything already is. Um, we got almost an inch of rain, uh, not before last. And 
that we're due for more to, uh, tomorrow, which is Sunday and Monday. So we are getting a lot of rain, guys. I'm not gonna complain because we absolutely need it. We were begging for it last year. And uh, this is helping fill up our lakes and our aquifers and uh, just give us a little bit more time on this earth <laughs> to have water um, to feed our plants. I'm seeing a lot of questions on some gardening pages on Facebook about people concerned about putting out their tomatoes right now because temperatures are in the low 50s and upper 40s and they're, they're afraid that they're gonna stunt them. And I'm just gonna tell you guys that I've planted tomatoes that endured uh, 40 and 50 degree nights because we do plant. My plant time used to be March 22nd, around that weekend, whatever, whenever that fell. And uh, that's when I planted. And, you know, I, I didn't ever see really any stunt in my plants. I'm just saying that um, there's a good chance that we'll have 40 degree nights and certainly 50 degree nights for the next six weeks here in Texas. And if you wait that long before you decide to plant, um, you might be a little bit too late because when we heat up, um, especially when the nighttime temps get above 78 degrees, which is pretty quick here at, at times, then um, your plant stops budding out. And um, so we, we always opt to uh, plant early, as early as we can, as early as we think that we can keep them safe because we want to be sure and get as many tomatoes as we can and get them canned up and uh, serve our, our customers and just make sure that we get a good crop and waiting until maybe there's not gonna be any 50 degree nights. Or, um, you may be waiting all the way through April. So just keep that in mind. Of course, you gotta do what you think you feel best about, um, but that's just what we do and that's what we prefer to do because there's really no way here in Texas to get around cool nights at times because our weather in the springtime can sway quite significantly. As you can see from my videos, uh, just a couple weeks ago, we were 80 degrees, um, high 80s, and in the next week, we're going to be only in the 60s um, until around maybe next Friday. Then we're going to be in the 70s, but yeah, it's going to be a, a cool, nice week. Here is my green bean bed, guys. I cannot get in there and plant yet. It is quite muddy. Um, I think I've got some plans that I'll share with you later on, but uh, you can see, yeah, I'm going to have to get in there and do some weeding, and then I think... I'm gonna lay some weed cloth down and then pop uh, holes in it to plant my green beans to try to keep the weed pressure down this year in this bed. One of our community members came by yesterday who has been watching us since long before we had these high tunnels. And this was where my traditional garden was. Um, it was here and it extended all the way where um, our smaller high tunnel is. And uh, that was where we gardened and he was watching us way back then. And so, uh, yeah kind of reminiscent and kind of uh, nostalgic to me because um, I know how hard it is guys to, to garden outside and um, because we suffered wind damage and we suffered uh, water damage when we got too much rain. There was hail damage and one of our community members got hit with hail um, the other night up in uh, Mineral Wells and we're praying for her and uh, she said that it beat up her onions pretty bad and some of her lettuces and um, I'm telling her to keep those onions in the ground and let's see what happens. I hope she does. But um, so, yeah, I mean, there's you can't control the weather, um, but you can control your response. And your response is to just keep on going, guys. We've got to keep on going. And if you got hit with the frost earlier this week and lost some of your plants, turn around and replant. Keep on going. We always have backup plants for uh, situations, especially this time of year, to make sure that we can cover ourselves in the event we get a frost or a freeze and we have to plant again. And you know what? We still could get a frost or a freeze. We've had uh, late Easter's into April and, and I remember freezing temps um, in April um, several times. In fact, like I said, I used to plant March 22nd and there were times when um, my tomatoes were coming up like they are in that little high tunnel and uh, we had a frost or a freeze warning and I was out here um, trying to um, wet them down, and this was before we had the high tunnels, wet them down and trying to keep them from getting a frost, frostbite. And, um, and there was times I had to replant my squash. Sometimes I had to replant my cucumbers because they all got hit by a late freezer frost. We are hoping and praying for the best for all of us this year and uh, praying that we are done with any of that cold weather and that we're all gonna have a bountiful harvest this spring because we need it this year. We need it this year, and 
you know what, uh, my, my city is in right in line with the eclipse that's coming on April the 8th and the hysteria that's going around about it um, just really kind of blows my mind because we've had eclipses many, 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 many times, or, you know, as, as long as the earth has been spinning, as long as the Lord put it here, you know, thousands of years. And um, I remember eclipse, total eclipses um, in, in grade school. And uh, we had a partial eclipse just last year. And uh, so, yeah, I'm a little surprised at the behavior that's going on um, with some people. It's it's sad to me to see trying to stir this fear up and thinking that the end of the world's coming. And you know what? The end of the world will come when the end of the world will come. <laughs> and uh, then we will be raptured with the Lord and uh, things will go on down here. So I hope that uh, you do know the uh, Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior um, because the days are uh, growing short, but there's nothing to fear, nothing to fear. And as far as this eclipse goes, you know what? Just enjoy it. Um, I think a lot of people are coming into my town and I'm off that day because um, I'm gonna be, um, I have to go to a wedding anyway. And so um, I'm gonna be off that day and we'll just, we'll just come out and check it out. And um, I'll do a video and we'll just see what's going on and um, just enjoy the phenomenon that the Lord gives us to look at um, and to remind us that he controls everything. Got to get busy this morning and get things set up and ready to go for our customers. They'll be here probably in about an hour and a half. And it looks like the Lord has given us a beautiful day. Love you all. See you soon. And we'll keep you posted.